So is it okay to leave your Mac plugged in all the time? I don't think so. It's not gonna be good for your Mac to be leaving it plugged in all the time. Don't leave your MacBook, don't leave any laptop plugged in all the time at 100%. Don't do it. Hey, before we do get into this video, if you are like me and you wanna know more about the Mac, check out my description below where I've got a full length training course about all things the Mac. I've got a couple of courses that I know that you'll definitely find helpful. So how are you doing? My name is Emilio, I work in tech and I've used a lot of laptops throughout my career. I mean, I do this for a living. I have laptops that I give to staff, to people in different sorts of organizations and I've seen terrible, terrible battery life on laptops. And one of the most common reasons that there is poor battery life on laptops is because they're always plugged in. People just like to leave laptops plugged in. Why don't you let me know in the description below what laptop you've got running, whether you've got a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, whether you're running this on a Windows computer, a Dell, a Lenovo, whatever it may be, because some batteries are better than others. I do not recommend you to leave a laptop plugged in. Apple does not recommend that you leave a Mac laptop plugged in. A laptop, a Mac laptop battery is meant to be charge down from time to time. This is even true of your mobile phone. If you've got an iPhone, the same principle applies. Four batteries, let them charge down from time to time. Do not leave them at 100% charge because you're actually affecting that battery. That battery is not gonna last as long by having it plugged in all the time. You may be thinking, yes, I've got it plugged in so it's gonna be lasting forever. But in reality, when it's at 100%, you're actually causing more harm to your battery. There's actually a good recommendation that I would almost follow every single month is letting your laptop, your Mac, run dry at least once per month. Let your Mac run all the way down to zero and turn off and then charge it all the way back up to 100%. Does a little bit of a reset of that battery, but you're gonna get better performance that way. If you're at home, if you're working in an office and you're on a laptop, try to get into the habit of getting up off your desk, unplugging it, sitting down on your couch, sitting down in a meeting room and actually using your laptop on its battery. I mean, that's the whole reason that you've got a laptop in the first place is for it to be mobile. For the most part, when people have really, really poor battery life, it's because of exactly that reason because they've always got it plugged in. I recommend you put a reminder in your calendar every month. The same day on every month, why don't you run your battery all the way down, charge it all the way back up. So there you go. Oh, and I've also noticed that a whole bunch of my viewers watch a lot of my videos and that is great, but a small percentage of those are subscribed. So why don't you help me out by subscribing, clicking on the button and on the bell, because that way you also will keep up to date when I release new videos. Remember to check out my training courses. We'll see you next time.